I'm sitting at my computer and I hear my phone ring and it's a text message from someone that found a Craigslist ad I started back when I first bought this dump truck and had completely forgotten about. And he's like, hey, I hear you need some 9x20 tires. Well, I have six of them on rims and if you come out here and get them, they're yours for free. So I did. I, uh, I looked up the dude's address and I found out that he's only like 10 or 12 miles or so from where I live. That's what the GPS said. Of course, it was like almost twice that when I actually logged it in the tripodometer in my truck. But regardless, we have all these wheels. So I go to this, uh, this little commercial enterprise. I'm not giving out many details, but I see this big stack of wheels leaned up on the, on the street with uh, leaned up against the telephone post with a cardboard free sign on them. And I get out and I'm looking at them and these three big burly dudes come out and they're like, oh, you must be the guy for the tires. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, you know, two of them are basically new. Two of them are in good use condition and two of them are just destroyed and uh, they're all free, but you have to take them all. So I was like, all right, sure, whatever. I'll take them. So they even loaded them for me. So how awesome is that, right? I really got the hook up there. So I'm very thankful for that. So two of these tires are basically brand new. I mean, there's zero weather cracking on them. They have essentially all of their tread. For all intents and purposes, it looks like someone just put these on here a couple months ago. So really pleased with that. Two tires are usable, um, but not that great. But you know, there's a little, little cracking. They look like they got a lot of miles left on them. And two of these are just completely dead. I think one of these, like the tread, it's just peeled off on half the rim. I've dismounted tires and I've changed tires before, but never unlocking rims and it's a total pain in the rear end and I really don't want to do it. But the, uh, the place where I'm taking these will put them on for 20 bucks a thing and if they have to take a tire off one rim and put it on the other, it's 40 bucks and I have like four or six wheels that need to be done. So that times 20, you know, it's really worthwhile to try and pop these off myself. Other tires drained. I have a valve stem tool somewhere. I'll have to find it before we do the tires I want to reuse, but it's pretty unbeatable for the ones we're just going to toss. Small fry bar, please. It's just stuck on here with friction from this old tube. Whenever you're ready there, Jack and Chan. Tube, it's like caught on there. Picture is on it. Now that we're set up to do these, we can knock the rest of them out pretty quick. this thing is. Why pay someone 20 bucks to do something when you can use thousands of dollars of, an equ of equipment in a whole afternoon to do a job of it yourself? <laughs> Oh, we like it. 
All right, we got a cold start, Mr. Dumpy here. That's not normal. There we go. It's never done that before. <laughs> Loads of water made the friggin' beeper work. These might really be on here. Oh, look at that thing bend. I, I can't even. Okay, uh, okay, that escalated quick. All right, pneumatic impacts are no joke. Okay, you ready? Yep, I'm on. Homemade jack stands to the rescue. So now we just have to undo these clamps. Oh yeah. Brake pads look pretty good. These things look so weird without a without a wheel on them. Just got back from the tire dudes. It's kind of a pain to, uh, to find people and places that are willing to work on locking room wheels like this, but it's definitely doable. And uh, they got rid of the old tires that we sawed off, like three of them. They only charged me seven bucks a piece to dispose of them, which I thought was pretty great because I can't really get rid of them for less than that myself. Uh, between that and the mounts of these tires and dismounts, it was 137 bucks there, and I'm more than happy to pay them to do it. It's amazing how much bigger these wheels look on account of they have actual tread on them and they're not almost flat. It looks like it's got a solid 50% more, more mass. And I really hope this dump truck is raised up enough so that we can uh, mount these. Valve stem won't not hit one of these hubs. I put it on here twice now, and it stays in the same place every time. So if you get in there and hit the brakes, yeah. Hmm. Mashing. Mashing. That's the. Uh... Which pedal are you pressing? <laughs> yeah, that one doesn't push down very good. Okay. Thus concludes my first ever experience in changing date and style wheels. And, uh, you know, honestly, I don't think that was as bad as everybody told me it was going to be. There ain't be no brakes on the gravity train! <laughs> hey, they didn't, they didn't go for me. This is awesome. Yeah. And I have my jack back, so now we have the, uh, the taller one to reach the rear end. Honestly, dudes, I don't even know how the heck I want to lift this thing. I say that I can lift it or I can support it, but fitting the stuff to lift it and the stuff to support it under here is not going to be easy. We'll clean all this flaky, rusty, nasty crap off of here. Alright, so the main danger of these things explodifying comes from inflating them and deflating them, so I've been told. And so the way how we're going to do this is we're going to take this little clip on tire chuck and uh, I got the trigger locked down on this inflator thing and we're just going to stick it on there and then go open the air valve at the air compressor and uh, about the time we hit 60 psi I'll cut it off. We might push it to 70 or so. Welcome to Stretch's Super Sketch Tire Shop. Proudly serving North Texas since a week ago Tuesday. 
like halfway there. Okay, so I've always said that uh, everybody makes at least one stupid mistake of the day. Mine was accidentally taking the wheels off the wrong side of the dang truck. And so uh, I was lucky. Today it wasn't a hard to fix mistake. And like I said, if anything, it's probably good we pulled them off of there. So these tires are pretty well dickered. Good stuff. You ready? Yeah. At least yeah. the socket's not deep enough. Okay. You see? Some new tires mounted onto these rims. Didn't explode, so we're probably safe. Yeah, because it's really a pain if you get these things mounted on here, like sitting up on here, and then the valve stem is smashing into one of these one of these points. Learn that multiple times on the other side. So now they're on there, they're marginally tight. So we'll just do that a few more times until they uh, stop getting marginally tighter. So I will say that this truck has a much, much better stance now. Uh, I'll say the front fender is up probably like a full inch and a half to two inches. And just getting ready to climb up here on the floorboard, the floorboard is like noticeably higher up than it was. 